I got something. Something good. Look at that little guy. That is What's going on everybody? Back at you for another, hopefully, video today. It will be a video. Yep. Got my man, Jacob, back with us. Jaw hook fishing. Make sure you check him out. You know, I just remember something. This jacket is good luck. First time I ever went bass fishing, four and a half pound bass. All right. Let's go. We're ready. So Jacob and I have a few goals today. We definitely, we got uh, a pint and a half of fiddlers. And so we want to go after some sheep's head, um, but I also have a secondary goal. So this is my new rod. It's not the new reel. Y'all seen that before. Um, a new rod. It's a toadfish uh, sheep's head rod made specifically for sheep's head. It's only five foot eleven. That's the end of it right there. It's on the ground. It's a little bit taller than I am, um, <laughs> which isn't saying much. <laughs> But I want to test this thing out, man, to see how great it is. It's, it's brand new. It's first time taking it out on the water. First time doing anything with it. So I want to hopefully catch a donkey today. Uh, catch me a nice, at least 18, 19 inch sheep set on it. That would be my goal. I think that would be awesome yeah. for that to, to happen today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got to put Jacob on a new PB. Uh, and a third goal that we have, so... Uh, Nathan and Bryce have both been on the channel before came out here to this exact same spot I told them where to go all that kind of stuff um, and they only caught two sheep's head yesterday uh, Bryce caught a little baby it was cute uh, and Nathan did catch him a 21 inch sheep's head though that, that was a stud that was respectable so we want to beat them today and do better than they do that'd be that'd be nice man that's my my PB as well I'd like a, a new one if I could but I'm not gonna complain if we just catch some we're gonna have a good time today weather's supposed to be looking pretty good it's a little breezy right now a little chilly a little chilly but as soon as we start paddling getting going this is Jacob's first time on a paddle kayak by the way uh, we're gonna convince him he needs to buy one pedal kayak that's right on a pedal kayak we're gonna convince him and his wife that he needs on to the get five that's right the vibe which is Nathan's kayak yeah. I've got the, big, <laughs> got the big fish back there. But it's gonna be a great time. We're fixing the launch out here. We're gonna get after it, hit some docks. So we'll see you out there. All right, let's get this main event started. Sorry about any wind noise. Man, the wind is blowing about seven miles an hour out of the northeast, which is that direction, which there's no cover for me yet. It'll be a lot better once I get up around that area, uh, around these docks and stuff, hopefully. So let's get after it. All right, so Jacob and I are splitting one and a half pints of these guys, some fiddlers. I guess Jacob's already got him a bite. You get took? <laughs> Jacob is not recording today. He said he is just fishing for fun, which that's what I always do. I just record my fishing fun. <laughs> Getting our first bites right here. Didn't, didn't necessarily feel like a sheep's head bite, but we got it, whatever it is. And it looks like a little bitty, little bitty black drum. <laughs> Let's go show to Jacob real quick. Little bitty black drum. Very cool looking fish, pretty. Um, I will say, man, that short rod was nice underneath that, and them filings right there. Very cool though. We'll see you, bud. All right, that's fish number one. a little update it is now 9 21 <clears throat> i've had like one bite uh outside that black drum and 
I didn't get it. But uh, it has been a slow going morning so far. But we're gonna keep at it. And we're gonna find some fish. I don't know when, don't know where. We're gonna find something. Got something, something good. Oh gosh, it looks like a sheep's head. All right, first keeper. <laughs> With the new rod. Awesome. Took a while, but we found it. Um. Hey, you. Looks like maybe 13 or so. Sweet. Nice looking fish. Let me get a measure on this guy. Like I said, I think it should be. 13. Grips on it first. Just make sure you got the grips on. Not a big one by any means. But if he is a keeper, he will absolutely go in the box. That's, uh, pretty sure he is. mouth is right there yep got like 12 and a quarter 12 and a half something like that that is good enough for the box awesome we got to get a picture and then let get him bled out and put in a box all right let's see if we can't get another one i think it was off of this piling right here just started bouncing these pilings and he hit it almost immediately I didn't really have a chance to get the bite on camera. Hadn't been recording for a minute just because I'm getting any bites for a while. Oh, got another one. Oh, no, that coming. Dang it. I just got picked up right here again. Crap. Got me. I didn't get a great hook set on it. how good he was felt like it might have been a mangrove even As he swam out rather than down on me man still getting used to this rod can definitely feel the bite that's for sure now that is a big boat very cool Hopefully there's some fish around it. <laughs> right now, one fish in the box is not sufficient. Cool little turtle right there on the edge though. So we're gonna try to switch it up with the brown sweeper right here and see kind of what happens. See if we can't maybe change, change our, uh, our luck. Get a close up with that turtle. He's just chilling, man. Right there at the end of my rod. He's just sitting there. I got a sea turtle just sitting here, man. Look at it. See how close I can get to him. He is just sitting here. Look at it. Look at that little guy. That is wild. I just touched his back. And he ain't moving. Is he asleep? Dude, I just touched this thing's back and he ain't, he's just chilling. Sea turtle. Uh, he is, he is sitting like right here. Well, I didn't get that bite on camera, but uh, I made sure he knew the hook was coming. And me, he made sure I knew too. Cause that, he went all the way over the kayak. Jacob can attest. I don't want to touch you. Oh, I'm going to touch you. Nasty, slimy joker. Don't you growl at me. Thank you. All right. 
Maybe that, that at least means there's fish gonna bite soon. Something. Here we go. I'm gonna get this one on. He seems to be hungry. Oh, he's back right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so I may have my drag a little tight. Two times in a row out here I've caught these guys. What elves? I guess it is action. Oh Jacob's on something. Do you better run around? <laughs> Is it a big sheep? Get your net. Get your net. Come on, Jacob. Oh, dude, it's a tank. Get your net. Oh, yeah, that's the big, that's the big one right there, man. That's your quite possibly a PB. Get a couple more reels on it. <laughs> Come on, Jacob. Don't let us down. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's a stud right there, man. One stinking fish makes the day. <laughs> You're like, yes, and I was like, what? <laughs> what happened to you right there? I don't know if you found an extra cookie or something. Oh, damn. He's a good one. Oh, oh we, we bust out the big side. <laughs> He's 35. 35 inches. <laughs> Dude, nice. Oh, gosh. That gum. That's twice I got hit right there. Look about right. 18. Yeah. Give me a second, I'll get a picture. Oh, yeah. Golly, dude. I don't know what this is. No, oh, it's a sheep. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. On that one, yeah. <laughs> Dude, absolutely go for it, man. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. Hi, uh, he might be 15. 15 or so. He's beautiful. He's a beaut. Some fish right here. I'm getting bled out. Awesome. Gonna be so tasty. Let's get him in a box. Had a quick bite right here, just pulled up real quick. Just had a bite, so let's see if we can't get him again. Kind of in between these filings. Oh, there he is. <clears throat> there he is. <clears throat> Black drum looks like. 
Well, he might, he might stretch. I don't know, I think he's short. 14. I bet he's 12 or 13. Yeah, he'll be he'll be like 13, 12 and a half maybe. Still pretty little fish. All right, let's put him back. Fiddler crabs out here. I don't know if y'all can see them poking their heads out of the holes real quick. This is all of our leftover bait, so we're gonna return them to this group right here. Man, we had a whole bunch left. Look at all them juggers. And diving into the holes. Yeah. But those are all the baits we got left over. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching, uh, that, that day was quite the grind right there. Uh, Jacob and I fished for a long time, didn't get a whole lot of bites, and so we had to try to capitalize on what we got. Uh, but sometimes those days when it is a grind like that, it makes that one fish just all that more memorable, in which Jacob caught him a fine sheep's head, new PB for him. And so super stoked about that. We had three fish all together. You can see those right there. Made a great meal uh, for my family and Jacob's family. And uh, we invited uh, Nathan and his wife over as well and uh, some fish and grits. And I don't know if I have a picture of that. <laughs> if I do, I'll pop it up right there. But if not, it was, it was a great, great meal together. But anyway, <clears throat> thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like the content, please like this video. And if you have not already, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. Hit 500 subscribers, I think a week or so ago. And so that was really cool. Thank you so much for everybody who has watched up to this point. Uh, it's really awesome. And uh, I'll try to keep making videos that are interesting, things that I like to do, and show you guys kind of how to do the same thing on the way. But anyway, till next time. Peace out.